speeding away again and the fast four at the back are Shane Gray, Troy Wheeler, Kane Scott and Malcolm Little. And there they are. There are the boys at the back. There are the boys at the front. Plenty of diesel smoke coming out, John. Those guys are going to have to try and make some moves. What's Ash done? Ash, hey, locked up the rears. Big time going into turn one there. Don't know. Maybe he just hadn't warmed his brakes up, had the water on the front, so I'm not really sure. But that K and Bedford certainly sounded better that time, didn't it? Well, that's opened the door already. They only have to chase down three people now up the front. Troy Wheeler making the first move. Malcolm Little, Kane Scott, Shane Gray. Can they catch these guys? Yes, probably. Can they get past them? Maybe not. I'll just bash them way through. Oh, it's so rough out there. Bit of off-roading as expected now from these trucks. Troy and Malcolm, drag race. Troy's not going to give in this time. He knows he can go around the outside there and he carries it through, which is very good. And he didn't run off. Yeah, that's a that's actually uh, different. He never managed to get all four wheels on the dirt. Someone should draw that man a map of the track. He should know it pretty well by now. He's been doing it for a couple of years. All right, well, he knows where to get away with it. That's what it's really about. And hey, motor racing is like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, Troy's one of the stalwarts, as Malcolm is, and Kane's only been in this for a couple of years. Uh, won the championship two years ago. Malcolm's a current champion. So, yeah, be interested to see what happens in this last race because I think the winner out of Kane and Malcolm will uh, be leading the championship when they lead this meeting. And as we saw once again, Troy Wheeler decides he likes having two wheels off the track. And, oh, three into the first corner. That doesn't add up. I don't have a big truck calculator, but even I know that those three are not going to do it. Kane's going to try again. He's hit him hard. He's spun him. He's going to keep him going. We'll have to find out after the break. Welcome back to Timaru. If you've missed the action, go outside and give yourself an uppercut because this is truck racing and it is all drama. Troy Wheeler, we look at his camera and we watch Malcolm Little try to get down the inside yet again. For some reason, Troy loves the outside line there, John. Yeah, he pulled out of it that time, though. I think Malcolm had too big a run of it. And it's good to see Kane back up in there after that little altercation with Malcolm earlier yeah. on. And the stewards will probably be looking at that because they do that sort of thing. Well, here they are, the fast four. We've got Malcolm Little, Troy Wheeler, Kane Scott and Shane Gray. And really, there there is pure parity, isn't there? Yeah, there is, but ironically enough, Troy Wheeler's in a B-class truck, which is less horsepower. So he's doing an absolutely fantastic job with these big open-class trucks here. OK, so he's punching above his weight. Yeah, definitely. He's allowed to be a, a ton wider, I think it is, but he's only allowed a, a lot less horsepower. So he's, he's doing bloody well. All right, well, if Kane wants to get him, he's going to have to get him now. Gives him a little love tap on the back. Can he set him up? Because that is what Kane is good at. And you'll see it again. There he go. He tried to do it, couldn't do it. Yeah, Troy was a bit wise to that one. He'd been watching from the lap before. Yes. You can, you'll notice this as the laps count down, the way that Kane does it there. He sets people up, tries to duck down the inside. Hello, Mr. Wheeler. Would you mind giving me the spot back? Yeah, but they had a few love kisses up the straight there. That's doing good. There's a bit of flapping off the side of the McGinty truck there now, but that'll be right. It'll get pushed back in at the next corner. For one of the few times this weekend at Timaru, Troy Wheeler's taken the inside on the far reach corner at the end of the back straight. Kane Scott tried to do the left, tried to do the right. It hasn't disturbed Troy at all. No, and Shane Gray's caught up on these two now, so he might be a wee dark horse here to watch as these guys start pushing each other around a bit. Shane may be the man on the move. Well, he'll be hoping that Kane won't be watching him. Oh, he looked at it and almost went down the inside. Meanwhile, while that's happening, we go further up the field. Malcolm Little going on Thompson. Oh, easily around the outside. Not a problem at all. Malcolm's very brave through that corner because it's quite slippery there this weekend. And we've seen a few trucks get very sideways. And going around the outside and off camber, but there's big time brave. Well, we've seen his big time brave, haven't we, in the earlier laps of these races. And Kane, he's done it again. He's tried to set him up. He did so. And now become a drag race. Oh, there it is. Is. You said it, Shane Gray. Yeah, and Shane's on the inside here, so it's going to be interesting. We'll get up to the 100 mile an hour. will be right up in beside Troy's door because this truck's got a little bit more horsepower. They'll cut off even together, as they do, and he's on the inside line for the top. We'll see if Troy goes around the outside, which he does. Shane pulls out of it to let him through. I tell you what, I was getting dizzy from the camera, and if I was getting dizzy, I know these truck drivers are as well. Troy's not happy, you can tell. <laughs> he just wants to be up there, and uh, he's a racer through and through, and he'll just keep pushing and see what happens. Well, he's lighter. He's got less horsepower. Power, but he's mixing it up with the big chunkers in there. We've got Kane Scott right up there. There's a tap. Hello. Hello, Kane. How are you doing? Shane gives him one, a big one in behind there. The other thing with these trucks is what happens is probably what happened to Shane there. After a couple of laps, the brakes go off, the things get quite baggy in the tyres and that sort of thing, and quite hard to drive. Well, there's Tagney. He started the race, handicapped, of course. He led the field out. Now, that, people, is something you don't see every day. What's going on? It's, it's not running right. They've got some serious problems here with injectors or something like that. It is running better in this third race than it has in the first two, but it shouldn't be firing flames out like that. It's probably not doing the engine a lot of favours. Flames out of a diesel. 
diesel. You saw it here first, people. Malcolm Little was probably looking at the back of that truck going, oh boy, what am I going to have to pass now? <laughs> a flamethrower. A flamethrower. Kane Scott, Darren Thompson, Troy Wheeler, and Shane Gray still trying to muscle his way past Troy. We have a look. The flames are just going ballistic, and Malcolm must be shaking his head. Yeah, well, Malcolm's one of the few guys that can actually turn his head right round inside the truck. He only has little mirrors, and his head turns right round and looks at you. It's quite daunting when you're following him. Speaking of turning right around, Troy's done it again. He's got past Thompson. Shane Gray's going to go. Thompson let him by. In fact, it almost looked like he's got problems. Yeah, I think he probably would have let Shane go because he's been pretty good to him over the years since they've both been from Wellington. They help each other out a little bit there. And once again, Malcolm Little does the courageous move around turn one, and I am very disturbed by Peter's truck right now. Yeah, there's a lot of smoke there. They've got a bit of work to do before they head to Christchurch in a couple of weeks' time. Right, here we go. Malcolm Little out in front and well out in front. And the advantage for him is he hasn't had to battle with Kane, with Troy, with Shane, because he's got past and had clear air. These guys, however, have been hammering tongs the whole race. Yeah, definitely. And that 100 mile an hour thing up the straight, you get a good run on someone and then bang, it just cuts off and you've got nowhere to go. It's, it's, pretty, it's good fun. Do they have a sneaky switch they can flick to get rid of the 100 just for a few seconds? Oh, I wouldn't let know all the secrets, but they do have a man with a, a speed gun at the end of the shoot, so you will get penalised if you're doing over 100 mile an hour. As Troy Wheeler heads out of the hairpin for the last time, Malcolm Little heads down the front straight, takes his second race win of the weekend, and he'll be leading the cha championship heading into Christchurch. Malcolm Little becomes the third winner of the weekend, and Peter Tangney holds on for second, just ahead of Kane Scott and Troy Wheeler. Shane Gray by 0.4 of a second.